In this video, we are going to discuss about DE3171 Problem Solving and Python Programming Laboratory Exercise number 1A to develop a flowchart for electricity billing. Now we are going to see the syllabus for regulation 2021. It is a syllabus. Now we are going to see the first exercise that is identification and solving of simple real life or scientific or technical problems and developing flowchart for the same. In that we are going to see electricity billing exercise now. Before entering into the topic, first let's see what is a flowchart. Flowchart are a diagrammatic method of representing algorithm. It uses an intuitive scheme of showing operation in boxes which is connected by lines and arrows that graphically shows the flow of control in an algorithm. Now let's see what is an electricity billing. A bill for money is owned for electricity use. A bill that a local ut utility issues to a consumer for the electricity that their home consumes. Electricity bill means the monetary amount billed to a customer in accordance with the relevant contract of supply between the customer and an electricity entity. For the avoidance of doubt, the monetary amount may be calculated through a meter reading at the relevant premises or an estimator meter reading for the premises. Now let's see the lab manual. The lab manual for exercise number 1A. It is the aim. We are going to develop a flowchart for electricity billing. It is the algorithm. This is a pseudocode. And this is a flowchart drawn for electricity billing. This is the start symbol. This symbol indicates a terminator that is terminal point or oval. So terminator shows the start and stop points in a process. The start and start symbol the terminator symbol. That is the oval shape. Next it is connected by arrows. So the arrow of a flow line, arrow or connector. So flow line connector it shows the director that the process flows. So in the direction la, the process flow out the process flow panicomkirda and the flow line then a solalala arrow solala la, connector solala. Next step is data that is input or output. This is a symbol. So the data flowchart shape indicates input to and output from a process. As such the shape is more often referred to as input or output shape than a data shape. So input and output could in the data symbol, we use input and output. So, in the output, we use input. Then, this is a symbol for process symbol. It shows a process or action step. It is the most common symbol in flowchart. So, flowchart, we use the symbol is the process symbol. We use the rectangle shape, the process symbol. So, this is a flowchart. It is the aim. We are calculating the previous unit and we are now we are calculating the current unit and we are subtracting from that. And finally, we are calculating the electricity building. And this is the flow chart. So finally, we have executor GE3171 Problem Solving and Python Programming Laboratory 1A exercise. That is how to draw the flowchart for the electricity billing. I hope you have understood. Thank you.